recharge. Hey, what's going on, Cham Squad? Insanity back here with another Apex Legends video here in Season 22. So today I'll be going over what I think is the best button layout for controller players in terms of optimizing both your aim and movement. If you enjoy this vid or other controller settings vids, take a moment to subscribe and let's jump right into it. So before getting into my specific loadout recommendation, there are a few features that make a good controller button layout that I want to highlight. Primarily, you want to be able to perform as many game operations as possible without having to take your fingers off of the sticks, especially the right stick that you use to aim. This way you can aim and shoot while you're performing other game motions and movements without delay. For Apex, this would be mechanics like crouching, jumping, sliding, and weapon swapping, and you can do these without it negatively impacting your aim. Controllers that have paddles allow you to capitalize on this by mapping important mechanics to the back paddles. That way you can perform them without it having a negative impact on your aim or movement. So with these considerations in mind, a button layout like Button Puncher, which maps crouch to the right stick, is a decent starter option. Crouch is one of the most important mechanics in Apex. You use it if you're crouch spamming in a gunfight or to jump slide as you're rotating. So having this moved to the right stick allows you to jump, and aim and shoot without it negatively impacting your aim. One limitation to this layout is that weapon swap is still mapped to triangle. So if you do have to switch weapons in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, you'll have to take your right finger off the stick, and this can definitely impact your aim. So to get around this and allow you to switch weapons in the middle of a gunfight without having to take your right thumb off of the right stick, which we use to aim, I've been running a custom loadout shown here that allows you to map this to the left stick. This way I can weapon swap during close range gunfights without having to negatively impact my aim. And it's definitely improved my one-on-one -on -one gunfight percentages. It'll definitely take a little while to get used to a loadout like this, but it's definitely worth a try. The only caveat to running this loadout is you'll definitely need auto sprint on so that you don't have to click the left stick in to initiate a sprint. This way you can allow the click to be mapped to weapon swap, and when you need to run, you can just gently press the stick in the direction you're moving. So I highly recommend trying out this custom loadout. If you do give it a go, let me know how it goes. Or if you run a different loadout that allows you to accomplish a lot of the basic mechanics of the game, such as jumping, sliding, crouching, etc. without it affecting your aim, definitely include your custom loadout in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you. Not too far from where we got 10. Oh, 
on the belt. Shields of recharge. I'm hit. I took an enemy down. That's on me. Down to target. Shields a recharge.
One step closer to winning. Recharging shields. Down a target. Shields of recharge. 